Hey, what's up, guys? This is Gus. Road to the Death of Call of Duty, Episode 6, Black Ops 2. They can't know we were here. So right off the bat, I'm going to let you know I did not have high hopes for this game at all. After Modern Warfare 3 and the disaster of a game that was, which I didn't even play for the entire year, I did not have high hopes for this game. We pulled forward. I bought this game pretty much as a Call of Duty fan. I wanted to give them one last opportunity to change the game, to improve the game, to get rid of all the previous bullshit that they had in the previous Call of Duties, or at least make some steps toward improvement. So I bought this game right off the bat when I played it. I noticed the graphics were the same. Whatever, I'm not going to spend too much time on that. It didn't offend me that much. Whatever. They added a new create a class system where you can have more than one perk in the tier 1, more than one perk in the tier 2, so on and so forth. But the perks are pretty much the same shit in the previous Call of Duties. Maybe some of them might have a different name. Maybe they broke certain perks into two perks, but pretty much the same shit. The guns, you can have more than two, uh, two attachments, you could have three attachments, which I thought w was a cool change. I actually like this new point system. But this system here wasn't going to be enough to keep me playing the game if they did not change certain things. Let's look at the maps. And that was one of the major things I had a problem with when it came to Modern Warfare 3 was the maps. Every map had windows, every map had camping spots, and this game here pretty much picked up where Modern Warfare 3 left off. Every map had camping spots. Now this, this map here that you're looking at, one of my favorite maps. But again, this game here, this map here has camping spots. And you'll notice there's one guy in the same fucking room the entire match. And when he gets killed, he just runs right back to the, to the same spot. And sometimes during this game, you'll notice that he's even camping with other people in there. He'll have two or three guys in there with him. And that's the thing. I know that you need to have a variety. And some maps should be more catered toward camping and sniping. But you should also have maps that cater toward movement, cater toward rushing, and that's what they didn't have in this game. Every map could be a camping map. Every map had buildings with windows with these great lines of sight where people didn't want to move. And these maps were fucking filled with head glitching spots, again, catering for pe you know toward people that didn't like moving, that didn't want to move, that were afraid to get killed. You had kill streaks all over the place. So of course people wanted to get these high kill streaks which were devastating, so what did they do? They camped. Moving on to the guns. No major changes there. Different guns, same bullshit. You had your handful of overpowered shit that people were using every match. The overpowered shotgun that would kill you from 50 yards away. The quick scoping sniper rifle. Target finders for fucking noobs. Again, the same shit. Every game that I play, within the first two, two or three weeks of this game's release, every game that I would play, people were using only maybe two or three guns. It was that fucking bad. And it took a series of nerfs and changes and buffs and all this other update garbage to fucking get people to use different weapons, but even that didn't work. So this game here, it was just a major letdown. They did not make changes. They did not evolve to get people to move around. They did not evolve their game to improve the gameplay. If anything, they just kept adding more BS to the game. It added shit for the noobs. It added camping spots for the campers. It added trick shotting shit for the people that like to do quick scoping and other bullshit. It turned this video game into a fucking cartoon. And that's the thing, I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh you suck, that's how you don't like this game. Well you know what, my favorite Call of Duty is Call of Duty 5 and I had the worst KD in that game than any other Call of Duty. And this game is actually, I have my highest KD in this, but I couldn't stand playing it. I was not around for the first DLC because by that time I was done with this game. I was bored with it. It wasn't fun. It was just like the previous 
two Call of Duties that were full of camping, that were full of other bullshit, and at this point, it just got to the to the point where it just wasn't fun. It was frustrating. The lag in this game was horrible. Getting shot around corners, me getting to jump on people, putting fucking five bullets in their chest, and them able to do a fucking jump. As if me shooting in the balls is going to be any less effective than shooting them in the chest and get the kill. This game was just so much crap. And at this point I was just done with Call of Duty. This game here could have made the difference. Could have finally saved the game. And that's the thing, a major turning point would have been during the original Black Ops, but I could have definitely handled it if they made some positive changes in this game. And that's why I bought the game. I was hoping that they finally learned their lesson, that they would finally listen to the Call of Duty fans out there that just wanted to play a straight-up, hardcore game and get rid of all the bullshit, but they didn't. They just kept this game what it was, which was basically a joke, decided to add more bullshit on top of the bullshit they already had, and just basically kill the series. And I think because of this game here, this series is at the point of no return. This series was finally killed and stomped to death because of this game. People were bored with this game faster than any other Call of Duty. And those are the reasons why. They didn't correct previous problems. They continued to add bullshit every year. Cater to noobs, cater to people that just wanted to frustrate people. So... Anyway, I'm done with this game. I'm Gus Canillan, and I'm out.